So I've been working on this for a while. This is a, a Nokia uh, TTRX. Um, it is uh, a complete base station radio for TMO use. Um, it's X Dolphin network. It's nothing dodgy. Um, and basically, this is a complete radio. <coughs> there is no man-machine interface here. This is not designed to have a microphone plugged into it so that you can talk. It's part of a, a TMO base station, so it would be connected to various other bits and bobs and an IP link, and then you would have a complete uh, base station as part of uh, a TMO network. Well, um, I picked one of these up on uh, eBay. I've actually got two here. Um, and this one I've modified. Now, what I've done is all of the DSP and everything else in here that makes it a radio um, has been basically disconnected inside. What I've done is I've disconnected it just before the PA stage, uh, the final power amplifier. Now, these units ran at 70 watts for 24 hours a day. Um, seven days a week for approximately you know 10 12 years non-stop they are rated the final output stages are rated for 300 watts the track the circuit board track is not built to carry that kind of a load um, but the PA stages are rated for 300 watts um, so what I've basically done is tapped into the PA stage and I've given it a, a coaxial input, which is just here. Um, I'll show you some close-ups in a second. Uh, the coaxial input goes up here to the back of whatever radio you want. In this case, it's uh, my MTM 800. This outputs 3 watts. So today, we're going to be driving this with approximately 3 watts of RF. The main output is just here fairly simple to understand, coax lead to the back of my SWR meter and then instead of an antenna I've got a dummy load. Uh, this cable is just power supply for the lights to make it a little bit easier to see. Um, it is unfortunately a 28 volt device, you can feed it with whatever you want but you've got a, a 12 volt line here, oh that's not very tight, oh dear me. Why is that not tying him up? Bear with me here. Right, there we go. Right. Um, you've got your, your 12 volt line here. And ground. Okay? So that's easy enough to see. You've got 12 volts there. That's for the bias stage inside. The bias stage requires 12 volts. And then separate to that, the main PA transistors require about 28 volts. So, I've um, series the my two power supplies together um, out and then you've got the 28 volt lead here okay so this one's sitting currently at about 15 volts ish um, this one's sitting at about 13 volts ish because this just supplies the 12 volt side um, it's only drawing a couple of amps for the uh, bias stage um, this is what takes the brunt of it all. Um, they do share the load, but um, give or take, if you've got a, a 10 amp power supply, that should do the trick. A pair of 10 amp power supplies should do the business here, uh, depending on the final output. So, what I'm going to do here is just test the voltages before we go any further. Multimeter, again, not ridiculously difficult to understand what I'm doing here. Um, Check the voltage here. That's current. That was silly, I've probably fragged that. Okay, um, so we're seeing 12.8 volts there, no drop. And we're seeing 15.4 here, and then between the two, we are seeing 28.2. I don't like that. I don't want 28.2, I want 28 and no more. Okay, 27.95, that'll do me. Um, okay, so 
that's that part of the test done. Next up, I'm going to do a quick transmission. I'll check that that works here, and then we'll get some close-ups. So, transmit. Excellent. Okay, seen around four amps draw from the big power supply, and spot on 100 watts. Spot on 100 watts output. So if we were to put an antenna on here, we'd be getting 100 watts out of that. Um, it's between 50 and 60 watts in reservation time. That's scandalous. Okay, okay. Well, uh, have some uh, close-ups now, I think. Right. So this is the uh, the actual main base station radio. I'm sure you've seen these on eBay. The uh, three sockets here are the three separate receivers for the three carriers. Um, big heat sink. This is the room for a lot of the DSP and everything that we're not using. And this is the original uh, 19 inch rack mount socket where it would have sat. I'm not using any of that. I've had to uh, put my power supply directly onto here. And then the coax lead I've made room for to come out of here. The coax lead coiled up a little bit behind here. And it just goes up behind there to the MTM. Okay, the front, you got your coax lead into the back of the uh, SWR meter. Now, I'll take a few seconds, I always uh, explain the scales here. At the front there, you've got range on the left hand side. We've got 20 watt mode and 200 watt mode. In the 200 watt mode, at the top right hand side, just here, you'll see 20 watts. That has now become 200 watts. So if it touches 10, that's actually 100 watts. If it touches 4, that's 40 watts. So this is the power arrangement here. We've got a 12 volt lead, we've got a 24 volt lead, 28 volt lead, um, and a ground lead. So if we just look at the 12 volt line, 12 volt and ground, come up to here to a 12 volt power supply nothing special about that okay and then down here we've got the 28 volt line 28 volts up to the top of here the ground from this power supply comes along here around there to the positive here so you can see that between ground here and uh, positive here we should have about 28 volts I tested that earlier with the multimeter so I know that that's fine and that's everything really so I'll show you a, a close-up of, uh, of the SWR meter so that you can see exactly what happens when we key up so I've got the uh, microphone for the MTM here and I'll just give the uh, camera a second to focus so remember if it goes up to about 10 that's about 100 watts there we go, give or take it's about 100 watts, 95, 100 watts, something like that. There you go, um, about 100 watts. Um, there you go, you can see that it's on a 200 watt scale. And just within reservation time, it's sitting around 50 watts long. Which is not bad at all really, I'm quite pleased with this. So yeah, there you go, 100 watts on Tetra. Um, this I've not tested it for range yet um, not extensively anyway but I'm sure you can imagine the uh, results it yields ok ok so that's pretty much the end of the video um, that's all there is to it really if anybody wants something like this making up I can do that um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll buy the amplifier 
and then um, I'll, I'll pass it on to you. Modified. Testers running. I'll do a YouTube video, send you a private link if you'd like. Um, the output depends on two things. The first thing, obviously, is how much power you drive it with in the first place. With an MTM 800, uh, you've got all the modern features, so it will work with a DMO repeater, etc, etc. Um, but it's only 3 watts output. We, you can take that 3 watts output and you can turn it into 100 watts output quite easily. All you need is a pair of bog standard CB power supplies that are capable of about 10 amps each. You should, if you pay any more than sort of 20 quid for them on eBay, you've paid too much. You should be able to pick up um, a pair for about 40 quid, give or take. I mean, have a look yourselves. Um, plug them in. You'll have your, uh, you know, 26, 27, 28 volts. Um, the difference when you knock it down to about 26 volts um, and 25 volts and below, rather than getting 100 watts output, you'll only get about... 80 watts output uh, with 3 watts drive so th there are your two things you've got the amount of output power you give it to work with in the first place and then there's the voltage levels the, the bias stage needs 12 volts fairly spot on 12.5, 13 volts that'll be fine start giving it much more than 15 volts um, it's not going to be a happy time for anybody I can assure you that they're, they're not designed to run at that voltage so your bog standard normal CB power supply throwing 13.8 out. Do please check it with a multimeter and make sure it's not 15 volts because it'll be running at its absolute limit all the time. Um, but I can make these, I will make these for people um, if, you, if you'd like me to do that. Um, basically delivered to your door it will be approximately £250. It takes me a long time to do this, it's very high risk. Um, what will basically happen is, if you order one from me, um, you will get this one. You've seen it working, you know it works, and I'll send that off to you. And what will happen is, I will buy in another one, I've got another one up here, look, I'm going to modify that, and that will become part of my stock. If you order one, you'll get this one. The money you give me, I will use to buy another one, and so on and so forth. Um, the idea is, is that I'm not modifying your equipment, I'm selling you something that's already being modified. Um, you're paying for something that works. You're not paying me for the conversion. Um, you're paying me for something that will work when it lands on your doorstep. That's the guarantee. Um, there will be no delay. You pay me that same day I can go down the post office because look, we've got stock sitting right here. Um, I've got another one right here. I can get more and that's that really, just send me a private message, keep your eye out on eBay, Google search Tetra Amplifier and you'll see other documents online about it. Have a, have a search on eBay for Nokia Amplifier. Um, I can't think of anything else at the minute. Um, I will be doing another video very shortly on the purchase I made on eBay recently, which is this fairly Gucci item. Um, I'm not entirely sure of its purpose in life. It needs some attention. I have had it apart. Inside you've got a power supply. You've got a, a Simoco stroke Sepura um, cradle for Sepura handouts. And basically, when you hit it with mains power, it becomes um, a charger, it charges it up. You've got coaxial output at the back from the hands-free kit, so you can plug it into an external antenna. You can use this press talk switch here to talk into here. Um, audio comes out of the main speaker, it's got a battery inside, so you plug it into mains, and if the mains fails, it just swaps onto its own internal 12 volt battery and then obviously you've got this too, one, two, three. That's how it works so far. Um, I'm going to be using this for realigning Sepuras. I'll do a video on realigning Sepuras next, I'll uh, upload, upload that. And that's all we have here for the time being. Thanks for watching, 73s.
leave me a message, leave me a poke, um, leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe, etc. Blah 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 blah. But let me know what you guys want to see and I'll try and knock something together here out of all this crap. Thanks for watching.